All right, shall we? Shall we? Let's do this. Cheers, Lydia. Uh, everybody, this is Lydia. So it's right number number 23, I think, Andy, maybe? Yeah, 22 was yesterday. Yeah. Sure, I could lose track. <laughs> Something like uh, that. I should stop counting, but I, don't, <laughs> I just can't help myself. Um, but Lydia is one of our community coordinators, and you are rocking it on Facebook, mm -hmm. on the blog, mm -hmm. and Gilead Nation. Gilead Nation. Yeah, yep. so that's uh, happening. So Lydia's there watching all of that unfold. <laughs> um, so I thought we could introduce her. And she is the resident lefty, lefty. of the Gilead <laughs> Pen Company, the only one. Yes. Which you are defying the odds a little bit, because yeah. it was like 10% of the population somewhere on there. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, but we yep. have 42 people here and you're the one the only lefty. only one. So all the lefty questions yes. go to Lydia, no matter Even where they me. come from. Yeah, <laughs> so um, yeah, why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself, what you're into. Uh, yep, so I'm the only lefty here. Uh, didn't know anything about fountain pens when I first got here, like nothing. Yep. Um, really just moved back to the area because all my friends were here and like this job sounded cool, so here I am. Awesome. Um, Has it lived up? Is this yes. job actually Oh my god, cool? I love this. I <laughs> okay, love cool. being here. This I'm always like, I hope it is. The best. I hope it actually is cool. <laughs> all right, good, good. No, no, no. All my friends are always jealous because I tell them all the cool things that we're doing like as a company culture. It's great. That's right. Um, Top workplace, right? Yes. Heck yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Everybody's so excited about that on Heck, Facebook. Exactly. It's awesome. Um, yeah, but then the fountain pen bug like got me. Okay. Hardcore, and there's yeah. a joke that I always have to buy all of the limited edition pens because you can't get them, and I, I have under, to have them. I understand this com compulsion. <laughs> like my premiere. Nice. Yes. Sea glass. Okay. Sea glass. This was what last year's spring premiere. Yeah. Um, That's have a to have one. that. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So I didn't what, get. What was it about this pen that like really jumped out to you? Um, I have an obsession with uh, pastel colors. Okay. And this pen basically is my life in a pen. Nice. So, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yep. That's a bold statement. This is this is my favorite I have, pen. I don't know if I have a pen that's like my life in a pen. No, this is. Wow. Yep. I was in a okay. sorority in college, all into that Vineyard Vines, Lily Pulitzer stuff. Nice. So okay. So this pen is. Yep. It's your life. Mine. So we're done. You can just look at the pen and you know everything about Lydia. <laughs> you can't get it, of but, course. you know. So, all right, let's talk a little bit about being a lefty. Yes. Because I think very common kind of misconception is that you have to uh, be right-handed to enjoy fountain pens. Or like you don't. you're at some kind of severe disadvantage being a lefty. You can't enjoy pens. So, um, yeah. As you just, can see, uh, Lydia can write perfectly fine. Exactly. And there's a lot of different ways that lefties can hold their pens, mm -hmm. right? So you, I'm observing, you're an underwriter. Yep. So I actually adapted to write like this. Um, oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. When I use pencils or, or other pens, I'm like this. Really? Okay. And always, without fail, smudged my writing. Mm -hmm. um, of course, yeah, because you're it's side writing, right? So mm -hmm. you're like your hand is going right over top of what you just wrote. Yep. So, so you I basically had like a gray. Smudged everything, yeah. You had like a gray it, left I hand growing it, up as a kid. I think it took me like four years to grow out the wow. the lead on the side of my hand. <laughs> I heard that joke well, from another lefty on Facebook, and I loved it because it's true. Uh, wow. It takes forever to just grow that out of your skin. Wow, okay. Um, so was it like after you got here and started with fountain pens that you mm -hmm. intentionally like moved your hand well, to write differently? I'm very logical about things. So looking at the pen, mm -hmm. it just felt right that the nib needed to be underneath the line mm -hmm. so that it would flow right. Because yeah. I started with a Metropolitan and a Jin Hao. Okay. And the Jin Hao burped apple glory all over the place, but that was another story. <laughs> <laughs> so I started that with the Metro. Of the way you were holding it. No, yeah. that was just you know newbie knowledge. But um, okay, yeah, the Metropolitan. It just it didn't write well when I tried to come at it from the side. It was yeah. very scratchy, so yeah. I just adapted to moving underneath the line, and it flowed and just super that, well. And just that fixed it. Yep. How about that? Yep. Nice. And then I can also use really wet inks and not have to care about it. Gotcha. So when people say hey, I'm a lefty, and my handwriting is, it's its not writing well, mm -hmm. the pen or whatever, you'd be like, well, the problem is you. Just change <laughs> everything about the way that no, you've grown up writing. No, And you're good, right? <laughs> no, but I did watch the the Fountain Pen 101 for lefties when I first got here. Okay. And I was like, okay, this is good advice, Brian. Okay. It might be, might be more helpful to see it from a lefty, but... Of course, of course. But it was very... I just mirrored the video and could they, just see, flip my go. hand over. Yep. <laughs> A little bit. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm not. Wasn't trying to be a poser, right? No. Like, I'm not no. You, to, I mean, you I'm gave, not trying to like play like I know the plight right. <laughs> of the, the lefty. You gave good you know? forewarning. You okay. did. Yes. Um, okay. Good. But I think definitely there's space for us to do lefty videos, which okay. we're planning on doing. Okay. Spoiler alert. Um, 
<laughs> so we are going to start a new series for left-handed people, and I think that it's going to be really helpful to see it from the perspective of a lefty. Yes. Um, so I'm going to try and tackle some of like the most common misconceptions about lefties using pens, like yes. that we can't use them at all, because clearly we can. She just did it. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, you can't use wet inks, which you can, because Sherlock Holmes is one of my favorites. And that's, okay, that's a wet one. That's a wet one. It's a wet one. Okay. Um, what else? What are some other like common, like off the top of your head ones? Let's see. Uh, you can't use flex pens, which you can, and I do all the time. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it helps because I'm an underwriter, so okay. it makes it easier to use but the flex pen. But you made yourself be an underwriter. I did. That's the thing. I did, but it felt natural to me. Okay. So gotcha. really, you're kind of fighting yourself to figure out how you want to write. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yes. Interesting. I mean, to a degree, I think you have to learn how to write with a fountain pen anyway, because unless yes. you like grow up with like really like mm -hmm. properly taught penmanship, yeah, you know, you're, you're gonna have to learn a little bit anyway. Right. And, and you have to learn to not let burping scare you. <clears throat> I use that gin how all the time I'm now. I'm never afraid of burping, personally. No. But, well, uh, you know, it did. Ink burping <laughs> scary. I still have the notebook. There's scars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. So, what else you got here? You got a Twisby I see do. as well? I do. I have my Eco Lime. The Lime, Which yeah. we also don't have. At first glance, I thought it was the yellow green, but no, nope, that's the Lime. that's a Lime. Yeah. And it's inked with Monteverde Olivine right now. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Nice one. It's a good color. It's easy for writing notes because it's short. Because the name is short? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be honest. The Atramenta Sherlock Holmes is not... Yeah, Not sometimes I'll abbreviate you. DA because there's no other Sherlock Holmes, you That's know what I mean? True. Like, as long as it can be distinguishable. Oh, that is a nice color. I love it. Monteverde's had some strong colors. Mm -hmm. And they green. flow so nicely. Yeah, it's like an olive green. So, you know my boyfriend Juan. Mm -hmm. He was in the army. Yep. Um, he hates this color because he's seen <laughs> it so many times. Oh my gosh, okay. So, when I used to write him love letters when he was still in the army, I um, had to avoid using olive green. Okay. Because he saw so much olive. <laughs> this is a, he like wouldn't even recognize it. So like it. now I try and use it as much as I can on the low key when I'm there not writing go. to him. There you go. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. Good deal. Yeah. Um, we also got to talk about your shirt. Yes. I'm obsessed with Because you're baseball. like you're like a diehard Red Sox fan, mm -hmm. and you love all things Boston. I do. So I do. why why Boston? Are you from Boston? I, um, I know, but I'm yeah. Of the audience, but like, <laughs> so why Boston? My dad's family is from Connecticut. Okay. And I lived up there for two and a half, almost three years before I moved back down here. Mm -hmm. And the Red Sox were the first major league team I ever remember seeing okay. like, play a game. Cool. I saw a Phillies game when I was like six, but I don't remember that. Okay. So, yeah, the Red Sox just kind of have like a special place in my A place in, in your heart. heart. Okay. Mm -hmm. My, my family, my parents are from Connecticut as mm -hmm. well. And my dad was like a diehard Red Sox fan. Is he still watching up. the games? Uh, he got back into it. Okay. He was a huge Red Sox fan in like the 60s and 70s when they were just terrible. Right. Like they would, go to, they would go to the World Series and blow, blow it. it. And just, he got his heart broken too many times. So he gave it up for like 30 years. Uh -huh. Like he wasn't even a fan when they won World Series. <gasps> like, and so, but then he like, the last couple of years, right. he's just like gotten back into it all of a sudden. And it's like telling me all these things. And I'm like, I don't I don't understand what you're saying. That. He's like, tell me all about the players. And I'm like, dad, you did not teach me these things mm -hmm. growing up. And now I don't care. So <laughs> sorry. You know, it's like, good for you. Like, I'm glad. <laughs> so I remember he would be like all excited. And I'd come in and be like, hey, how about that game last mm -hmm. night? And you know, my dad would like, chirp little things into my ear and mm -hmm. I'd be like, Lydia, how about the game? And you get all excited and I'd feel like I knew something when there really I don't. Yeah. The season starts in nine days. So Wow. Didn't baseball season just end like two weeks ago? Well, like isn't the season Susan, so long? If like, you ask Susan and I, it's been an eternity. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Like the season ended in like October, but that felt like two how years long is ago. baseball I'm just I'm gonna show my It goes to April to well the end of March now because they moved it up. End of March. April to October. The World October. Series is always in October. That's okay. Really That's like half the year. It is. That's crazy. I'm happy half the year. Wow. The other okay. half I have to like content myself. Are you like football or anything? Nope. Like nothing? Just baseball. Okay. So like Just Patriots? Baseball. You don't even, do you care mm -hmm. about Patriots at all? Mm -hmm. Really? Okay. Interesting. Nope. I went I to thought, like... Gillette Stadium once to see a concert. That was it. Okay. <laughs> what concert was it? I'm curious. Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran? Mm -hmm. I don't know who that is. Oh. I'm not. Yeah, You're going to get a lot of hate from people on that. Who, who is Ed Sheeran? You guys he's, a, he's a ginger, like, uh, <laughs> guitar dude kind of person. Okay. Singer. Yeah, he's a pop singer. Yeah. Pop singer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. He just won a Grammy okay. for one of his songs. Okay. 
I think it's won a lot of Grammys, but... Okay, gotcha. Yeah. (laughs) He's just this, like, completely unsuspecting dude that you wouldn't expect people to, like, really latch on to. Huh. But then he starts singing, and he's super relatable. All right. Well... I took my sister up there to see him last year. I might check him out. Yeah. Is he, like a like, a... John Mayer type or a Jack Johnson? Kind of, like, kind of but like he, he explores... Singer-songwriter type? He explores more of, like, building his own music. So I've seen him in concert twice now. Okay. And when you see him, he, like, uses the loop pedal and basically builds the whole song... Oh, interesting. ...from the, way, or like okay. the, from the beginning up. So it's really, really interesting. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I can appreciate that. Yeah. I, as I'm having a musical He's background. a good showman. I can appreciate that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I really enjoy Awesome. All right. I'll have to check out Ed... Sh- Sheeran. Sheeran. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and he's laughing. Like, like, I should just know this stuff. Like, come on. <clears throat> I got young kids. I'm, like, watching My Little Pony yeah, and, like, you know, you know that man. kind of stuff. So, like, I just, um, last 10 years, like, no pop culture. Yeah. Like, very little, like, gets through here. I even have those moments with my siblings, and they're only, like, eight years younger than I am. Yeah. They just... It only gets worse. I'm Dabbing, you. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Yeah, my son does that. I don't understand. And, I'm, and he looks like he's sneezing. Right. Like he just he just does this, and I'm like, <laughs> like what, what is that? Him and all his friends, him and all his little eight year old friends, they're like, oh dad, like we went to a birthday yeah. party a couple weeks ago, and they're all doing that, and I'm like, you look ridiculous. <laughs> what is happening here? But I get that it's a thing, right? Oh you know, man. But it's a dance move. You know, yeah. Well, you know. But I mean, when I was his age, I was doing like the Macarena and stuff. Like, yeah. I, can't, I can't say that I was any better back then. So yep. go figure. Cotton Eye Joe. Yep. Oh yeah. All that, stuff. <laughs> all that good stuff. Oh man, it's funny. Anyway, well, cool. Thanks, Lydia. Yeah, it was great having you having on. Me on. Definitely give us your ideas for lefty videos because yes. we're seeking those out. Want to make it awesome for you all, and Lydia is the one to help us to uh, make that happen. So, thanks, Lydia, for being on. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day, and right on.